Hi and welcome to a new tutorial on my channel. I'm Andrea and today we're going to be working these cute Tunisian crochet coasters. They're made using a regular hook and two colors of cotton yarn. You can use any cotton yarn you have in your stash. They are made in the round in two sections and I will show you how to make all the stitches. First the middle part and then the outer part and then finishing off. For this pattern you need two colors of cotton yarn, the yellow or another color for the sun, this will be color one, and the background color for the sky. You also need a four millimeter hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle to finish off. We begin with a magic ring and we put seven single crochet stitches in the magic ring, which will be the basis for the pattern. When we have seven, we pull on the tail to close the magic ring and then we slip stitch into the first single crochet. This is the foundation row. Now we chain three, don't pull too tightly on the chains, and we pick up three loops, which will be three Tunisian simple stitches. And we pick up one last loop in the first single crochet stitch. Then we do the return pass, so yarn over, pull through two. The first row of the first section is done. Now we pick up three loops in these three stitches. And we make a short row. To make a short row, we don't pick up one more loop in the single crochet stitches, we just yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the beginning. Then we pick up three more loops. The third one we pick in the first row and we pick up one more loop in the first single crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through two until we have one loop left on the hook. Then we have the short row again, pick up three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, three times. We continue like this with regular rows and short rows, putting two of these regular rows in each single crochet stitch. So we pick up three loops and one loop in the next single crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning. Then we pick up three loops, yarn over, pull through two. We pick up three loops, two in the short row, one in the previous row, and one in the second single crochet stitch. Then we yarn over, pull through two. Another short row. And the next regular row we put in the next single crochet on the foundation. Please continue like this until you reach uh, the first row and I will meet you there. When you're finished with the section you should have 28 rows, 14 regular rows and 14 short rows. Before you slip stitch into the top of the first row here, you should take your second color and bring it close by. Then make the slip stitch using this second color. Now we can start the second section. We chain three. And just like before, we make three Tunisian simple stitches into the chain.
and pick up one loop into the top of the stitch, the first stitch. Then yarn over, pull through two. Now we make one short row with the same color. We pick up two loops, yarn over, pull through two twice. And now we will make the ray. So we will make this part. We bring up the yarn, the working yarn from the first color. Then we pick up three loops here, one and two in the first row. Then we yarn over and pull through two twice. Then we leave color one and we pick up color two again and we yarn over pull through two. This finishes the row and leaves color two here on the edge. Now we have a regular row, so we pick up three loops, two in the short row, and one in the first row. Then we pick up one more loop in the next stitch here on the first section. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the beginning of the row. This is one pattern repeat done and we will do this 13 more times. So we, we pick up three Tunisian simple stitches and one loop into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two all the way to the beginning. Then we have a short row with two stitches. Pick up two loops, yarn over, pull through two twice. Then we switch to color one. We pick up three loops. Then we yarn over, pull through two twice. We leave color one and we pick up color two again. Yarn over, pull through two for the third stitch on this row. Then we have one regular row. We pick up two loops in this row. We pick up one more loop in the row below. And one loop into the next stitch on the first section. Then we yarn over, pull through two. So we keep on repeating this until we reach the beginning again. So please do this and I will meet you after I do this 12 more times. In total there should be 14 of these sun rays. When you reach the first stitch again, you can cut off the yarn, both yarns actually. Now pull the loop through here, because we're going to create a fake loop on top to finish off the edge. So you thread the needle and now carefully you look at the next slip stitch here and put the needle behind these two loops and come forward and then go through the original loop to the back like this. This creates a seamless edge, so you don't see where the edge was. Then you can weave the end in. I like to go back and forth three times, because that way the yarn doesn't come out. Just make sure the yarn is not visible on the other side. Cut off the excess. And now we reach the fun part. In order to have a pretty coaster, we don't want these gaps to remain. So we take the first tail that we have and thread the needle.
Then we bring it to the front of the work. And now we have to continue these rows of bars here. So first we look at the, the first row. We go with the needle below. We go below the first loop here. And then we come back to the beginning, to the first row, and we go below the first loop on the other side. And we do this four more times. Now on the next one, it's here. And the next one on the left. You have to search for them a bit. And then the last one on the right. The horizontal bar here. And the last one on the left, this horizontal bar. Now you can't see the seam anymore and you can go to the back and weave in the end. I will do it off camera. And I also want to show you how to weave in the last blue end, so the second color. Thread the needle, bring it to the front. Then the same thing, we have three horizontal loops here. We go below the first. Then we go below the first horizontal loop on the other side, which is this one. Then we go below the second on the right side. And the second on the left side. Then the third on the right side and the third on the left side. You pull on the thread to close the hole here. And then weave it in on the back, as always. So this was the tutorial for a pretty coaster. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make many of these. If you want to help me, you can buy the PDF pattern using the pay what you want system that I have set up on both my website and on Ravelry. You can also support me by sharing this tutorial with anyone you think would be interested and by subscribing if you haven't already. And for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!